Very infrequently, it'll be necessary to replace a worn string drive. Now, this requires a bit of dexterity and patience, but with a little practice, it'll seem easy. Here's how to do it. First, turn the pulley until the head is in the middle of the printer, about right here. Okay, and then holding this pulley nut right there from the bottom with a pair of pliers, loosen the screw. Now push the pulley away from you toward the print head, back toward the print head, tighten it back down. Next, the same way, loosen the idler, move it towards you, and you can leave it loose. Now undo the string from the pulley and cut the old string on the right side of the print head, right there. Get your new string and tie the old string to the new one, just like this. You can use just about any knot you want to. I would suggest tying it up close to the end of the string like this and make it as small a knot as possible so that it's small enough to fit through these end guides here and right here. Okay, now you want to pull on the old string after we get it out like so, from the left-hand side of the print head until the new string goes through the right guide over here. Sometimes it takes a little bit of pulling. And across the front here and through the left-hand side, okay, just like that. Now we want to get rid of that old string, so just cut that knot right out of there, like that, okay? Pry the black retainer out of the head assembly and remove the rest of the string. Next, thread the new string into the small holes from the outside of both sides of the head assembly. Okay, the string will be coming up and out of the head carrier like this. And we want to tie a loose knot in this end like so, just to keep the knot together. That's all, okay? Now pull the string back across the back of the printer like this. Then pull the front part of the string toward you about 14 inches. Oh, we'll say roughly right there. Now holding the left side of the string against the pulley, the side closest to us here, wrap six turns around the pulley with the new string. That's one, two, Three, four, five, and six. Now take the knot and pull it tight, getting the knot over the middle. and put the black retainer back in the head assembly. Now we're ready to cut the old knot out, close to the knot so you have a lot of string to play with there, or as much as possible. Then we want to tie a new knot, this time a square knot. And uh, we'll go right over left and left over right. We want to snug that down as tight as possible. And then the last thing we want to do is cut off the excess string right there. And that's all there is to changing the string. Here's another stopping point for you to go back to your workstation and practice until you feel comfortable with this procedure. And then again, come back to the videotape for the next segment.